Hi, I'm Mark Fletcher, Chief Architect for Avaya Public Safety Solutions, and today we'll be talking about TTY TDD machines, what they are, how they work, and what you need to know as a professional 911 telecommunicator. So what is TTY TDD? A TTY is also known as a teletypewriter device for the deaf, or TDD. It's a special text terminal that allows individuals who are deaf, hard of hearing, or speech impaired use a standard telephone device to communicate with others, including 911. Some 911 calls from deaf callers will arrive through a relay service as standard voice. You have to remember a few important things. The call is from the relay service and not the original caller. Now this can create some confusion as the call may or may not have the ante of the originating caller and the call may come into your center on an administrative phone line. Now based on the configuration of your center and the CAD, this may not provide an ante alley display or the ante alley that's displayed may be that of the relay center. In other cases, callers may arrive directly to your center, but may originate from a TDD device. Now, while these calls will come in on the 911 trunks, in order to interact, you'll need to use your TDD TTY device to communicate with the caller. And because of that, understanding the intricacies of the technology will help you communicate more effectively. Here are some TTY TDD facts that you should know. First of all, the communications path is half duplex. Like a two-way radio, only one side can speak at a time. Because of this, when you're done typing, you typically enter the letters GA for go ahead. This lets the other side know that you're done and they can now start. There is no error correction in this protocol, so what you get is what you get. Because of this, it's possible to enter the transmission midway, which will cause a partial message to be received, or a shift character to be missed, which will cause garbage to appear on the screen. We'll talk more about shift characters a little later on. There's no handshake, so ready or not, here I come. Because of the previous limitations, there's no handshake that initiates a smooth communication flow. It's kind of like turning on the fire hose. Ready or not, here comes the water. There's no carrier tone audio. In other words, when neither side is transmitting, the line is completely silent. Now, both sides might be waiting for the other to start, so be aware of this. And this is why many agencies transfer silent calls to the TTY TDD so they can poll to see if it is a deaf caller. There's no ability to interrupt. Once one side begins transmitting, there's no way to signal it to stop. Have you ever tried yelling over the radio that there's a stuck mic? If there is, they certainly can't hear you. Well, the same is true for TTY TDD. A common problem that you'll experience is that you're getting only symbols and numbers on your display. The reason for this is because this is BOTO and it's formatted very specifically. If we look at an audio display, each character actually consists of seven tones. There's a start bit, five tones in the middle, and a stop bit. The five tones in the middle are what define what character is being sent. But the problem is, this format will only deliver 32 unique combinations, which just isn't enough to deliver the entire alphabet, the number set, as well as symbols that are required. So how do we deal with this problem? Got garbage? Just hit the bar. The space bar, that is. Because the same sequence of tones can mean letters when in letters mode, or digits in punctuation when in figures mode, you may have to hit the space bar to change modes and get in sync. For example, the sequence 00001 can mean either the letter E when in letters mode or the digit 3 when in numbers mode. Now remember, there's no synchronization or error correction. So if you happen to miss the mode change, the TTY can get out of synchronization. Now if this happens, you'll typically see numbers and digits on your TTY when you should be receiving text. Now fixing the problem is easy. You just tap the spacebar on your TTY and that'll cause it to resync into the proper receive mode. So how do you know you're getting a TTY call? Easy, just listen. Some devices will actually announce themselves with a recorded message like this. TDD caller use TDD. TDD caller use TDD. TDD caller use TDD. In other cases, you might hear the user pressing the space bar or other keys that'll generate bauto tones. These tones sound like this. <laughs> and 
And remember, there's no carrier tone when neither side is transmitting, and that's why at some agencies it's their operational practice to pull all silent calls with TTY tones to make sure it's not an incoming TTY TDD call. You may hear through the grapevine that TTY TDD calls aren't very common, so why do we go through all this trouble? 911 is not easily contacted by individuals who are deaf, hard of hearing, or speech impaired. Text to 911 and Next Generation 911 will help bridge this gap, but right now, a TDD TTY may be their only lifeline in a dire situation. Training, awareness, and practice will keep you proficient at this technology, and remember, if it saves a single life in a single center, it was worth all the effort. This presentation on TTY TDD machines, what they are, how they work, and what you need to know, was produced exclusively for the cool kids of 911 by the Avaya Podcast Network. I'm Mark Fletcher, Chief Architect for Avaya Public Safety Solutions. You can follow me on Twitter at Fletch911, or you can check out my public safety blogs at avaya.com forward slash Fletch911. Thanks for watching, and good luck on your career as a public safety telecommunicator.